Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle mouse events. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, in order to handle the mouse events or simulate the mouse activities, we have to create an object for a class known as action change class and pass the driver here. And using the object reference that is returned by the action chains, we can simulate the mouse events. Okay. So let me practically demonstrate one small example for you how to simulate the mouse events. Okay. So to get started with uh, how to simulate the mouse events using Selenium Python, this is an example only. Okay. So for that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where you can see there is some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window and we have to open the application URL here. So for sample, I'll take this application URL that is uh, omaya.blogspot.com URL and tick. Okay, copy this URL and paste it here. Okay, once it opens the application URL in the browser like this, what I want to do is I want to move my mouse onto this blocks menu. Okay, when I move my mouse onto the blocks menu, what is happening? These menu options are coming. Okay, I want to simulate this action where I want to move my mouse onto this blocks menu and I need to get these options displayed. Okay, so when I move my mouse onto this block menu, blocks menu will get highlighted and we'll be able to see the options also. Okay, so let's do that. So to do that, guys, once we go to this application, the next item that we have to do is we have to create an object for this action chains. Action chains. Okay, so we have to create an object like this. And to this action chains, we have to pass this driver guys. Okay. To the constructor of the action chains, we have to pass the driver like this. This action chains is going to return you an object reference kind of stuff. Okay. So to refer to that object, we have to create an object reference. Uh, let me say actions is equal to, okay. This object reference, which is referring to that object, uh, which is created just now here. Okay. Now using this object reference, uh, I can perform several activities. So this activity that I want to simulate, right? This mouse activity that I want to simulate is I have to move my, move my mouse onto this blocks menu. Okay. I want to move my mouse onto this blocks menu. How to do that? There's a command guys. Okay. I'll explain more about this coming command in the upcoming uh, sessions, but for now, just for a sample, how to simulate the mouse events or actions, I'm covering this for you. Okay. There's a command known as move to element command. Okay. So here I need to pass the web element. Uh, to which I want to move my mouse onto. I want to move my mouse onto this blocks menu, right? So I'll inspect this blocks menu. I'll create a web element for this blocks, uh, blocks menu option. And you'll see there's an ID. I'll copy this ID and here create a web element. Okay. Before moving here, I have to create the web element for that. I'll simply say driver dot find element by dot ID is there now. I'll give that ID here. So I'll just say blocks. Okay. Blocks is equal to is a blocks, right? Blocks is equal to. I'll copy this blocks element here and uh, move to element. So uh, you may be thinking that this command will work, but this is not going to work. So even though you have written a proper command here, it's not going to work. The reason behind that is, so all the, uh, all this uh, commands of this action chains, right? Uh, all the commands that are related to action chains, like one of the command is move to element or whatever the commands that are related to uh, simulating the mouse events, right? They have to end with one command known as dot perform. Okay. I'll show you practically. I'll not provide dot perform here. I have to perform dot perform here. Then only this command will work. Okay. But if I don't provide this uh, dot perform, this command is not going, this command is going to be ignored guys. Okay. So mouse event is not going to be simulated without that. Uh, if you don't end this command with dot perform, it's not going to work, but still I'll show you. Okay. What's happening here uh, without the dot perform. After later, I'll show you what will happen if I put dot perform there and how it is working fine. Okay. Now, after going to this application, what I want to do, I want to move my mouse onto this. So here, just for the demo purpose, I'm just, you know, time dot sleep. I'll just give five seconds uh, here. And, you know, before uh, moving my mouse, I'm just giving three seconds here. Okay. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding this uh, time dot sleep okay, so that you can see what's happening. After uh, five seconds, the browser will quit. Driver dot quit. In this case, uh, this move to element uh, mouse event will not be performed guys. Okay. So run this code as I already mentioned, it will open the application URL, but it is not going to move my, over my mouse onto the blocks menu. It's not going to move my mouse onto the blocks menu. Or even after three seconds, the browser will simply close. Okay. The browser will simply close where you see the mouse has not moved a bit. Okay. Onto that uh, blocks menu. The problem here is all these mouse action commands. Okay. Which belong to the action chains need to be ended with dot perform. Then only this command will be, uh, you know, will work. Okay. Will be considered for working. 
run this now after i add dot perform at the end of this motto element here you see this time you clearly observe guys my mouse is going to be hovered onto the blocks menu you see blocks menu got highlighted and you know blocks menu came that means my mouse has been simulated in such a way that it has been moved onto the blocks menu you will not see the real mouse moving but internally it will happen guys okay the simulation will happen in a such a way that you will not see my mouse cursor moving there but it will not control my mouse cursor but internally it is moving the mouse cursor control onto the blocks menu and hence you are getting that option okay so this how we have to handle the uh, mouse events uh, in selenium python guys but there are several things that we can do okay you see you have a mouse means you have you can do a lot of stuff using the mouse right uh, you, you can left click right click contact right uh, i mean you can double click using the mouse you can drag and drop many things can be performed with the help of mouse all these things i'll cover one by one in the upcoming sessions for you okay this is just getting started a uh, session on uh, mouse events uh, to show you how the how selenium python can handle the mouse events okay further sake only i covered here but in the upcoming sessions right i have i will cover a lot of things that a mouse can be used okay mouse can be simulated using selenium python so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye